Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. We are live this morning at Cordy Brothers. You know I love coming here, and it's all because of this man right here. Rick knows his stuff when it comes to food and wine and probably a lot of other things as well. So we're talking chocolate today. Talking a lot of chocolate. times when we think chocolate, we're thinking like Hershey's, yep. Belgium Hershey's. chocolate. This is a lot different. This is a lot different. You know, it, the food is becoming one world. It really is. Years ago, you would think of Belgium chocolate, chocolate from Belgium and um, French chocolate and Swiss chocolate. Now chocolate's all over the world. We source from all over. We had a gentleman come and visit us um, and brought us some very interesting chocolates, and we finally got in two new ones, which I want you to taste. Okay. I mean, who thought of chocolate from Vietnam or from Iceland? We have them. What are the different flavors with that? What are people going to get to taste? They, these are all dark chocolates, so they're high cocoa percentages from 60 to 90 percent cocoa. But the two most unique ones, we have a caramelized lavender from Budapest, Hungary, and a gin and tonic chocolate from Barcelona, Spain. Okay, we're gonna try those. Uh, in the midst of trying, though, I gotta show you this because this is really cool. This is actually baked in the jar. Is that right? Yes, it's from Italy. It's pan dolce. It's the other sweet bread we know of panettone and Colomba at Easter and Christmas. This is baked in a jar. It's made with the what was called the best Muscat wine in the world in 2014. So they bake it in the jar. It has orange peel. As soon as it cools, cools down, they seal the jar, and it is so moist and delicious. And so that's we, what it we, looks like when you take it, it out. Like when you take it out, and you can eat it as it is. You can drizzle your favorite liqueur over it. You can drizzle rum over it to treat it like a rum baba. And you can reuse the jar too. Okay, let's try. Them. Let's let's trade places here. Okay. And um, will you pick, pick, pick off um, a piece? I'm there, gonna and we pick, will. First, you want to try the gin and tonic. Okay. And see what you think of that. Oh, that's good. Oh, well. Yeah, the aftertaste, it, you really get that. It really comes on. You get the chocolate, and then you get the gin and tonic. Oh, yeah, and that is definitely a dark chocolate. It even doesn't look like a dark chocolate, but it is. This is more lighter, okay. it's almost Tiny. milk. And it has ca candied lavender in it. And you think, well, that's kind of weird, but the flavor oh. just comes okay. on. Okay, that is amazing. I'm going to eat the whole thing. So <laughs> I'm coming up, we are going to talk about wine pairings with this. And uh, this is going to be gone. That lavender one is amazing. It is amazing. It's one of the most unique chocolates I've ever tasted. Really good finish. Woo, I like it. Guys? Thank you very much. We Thank found you very food much. can be elite. Mm -hmm. Chocolate, chocolate, go figure. Yeah. Uh, Sheila,